The owner and proprietor of Bubu Pharmacy, Baizu, is often touted as a miracle worker. He is often described to be able to do wondrous things and heal ailments where other medical practitioners could not. A part of this is mostly because of his extensive knowledge in medicine and pharmacology. But there also exists a more mystical element to his methods, one that few people are aware of. These are in truth related to the relationship he has with the white snake Changsheng. Despite his seemingly prodigious gifts, healing people is not the only goal Baizu has. What he really wants is to find the secret of immortality. The biggest question here is why? Before we dive further into Baizu's lore, if you want to see more Genshin Impact content, do consider subscribing to the channel. In order to understand his motivations, we have to go back into the past. More precisely, we need to understand what exactly Changsheng is and what relationship they have with Baizu. A long time ago, in a galaxy, wait, no, in Liwei, there was once a village stricken with plague. The doctor of this village had endeavoured to find a cure and in his pursuit sought out an exceptionally skilled herb lord known only through legends. This herb lord was said to have the knowledge and skill to cure nearly any ailment and many sought their knowledge. The doctor's journey took him to a location in Chen Yu Vale but upon arriving, he was met with only a white snake that seemed to be bereft of all energy and power. This snake however was no mere beast. It was capable of speech and, in an effort to stave off its looming death, made a deal with the doctor. In exchange for knowledge he so dearly wished for, their lives would be forever linked. All the medical knowledge and expertise would be at his fingertips should he accept the snake's offer, and so he did, without much worry, putting the needs of his village before himself. This doctor would be the first in a long line of healers who would enter into a contract that would be known as the Way of the Dragon Dragging Jade Snake. Those that enter this contract would appear slightly different with their eyes taking on the appearance of the snake and vice versa, an indication that their lives are inextricably linked. This is why Baizu has rather unique eyes. Knowledge was not the only thing that the contract imparted on these healers however. You see, Changsheng had unlocked a secret art known only to her which she would impart to those who she has linked her life with. This secret art allowed a practitioner to transfer their life force into another person, healing them. It also allowed them to transfer diseases and poisons from a patient into themselves. Essentially, this was a last resort thing. Those with access to this ability were able to save the lives of others at the expense of their own. Because those with altruistic natures tended to abuse this art in the service of others, they often died young. Each time, they would pass on Changsheng and the contract to their successors. And so, a long line of hosts would be created. Many of these successors were more than happy with this exchange, all the way until Baizu's master. Baizu's master was the same as his predecessors, more than willing to accept the exchange of his life in order to save others. However, towards the end of his life, when he wanted to give the last of his life force to save the husband of his disciple, he was stopped. The disciple did not want to exchange the life of one person for another, especially as she cared for both her husband and her master. This made Baizu's master question the service that he and so many of their predecessors had given their life to. Before he passed away, he would like many in the past hand over the contract to his disciple, in this case Baizu, but along with it, he tasked Baizu to solve this conundrum. Can you really save the lives of others if it meant the death of your own? And was there a better way? Baizu's answer to this is why he has pursued immortality so fervently. There is no doubt in my mind that he wishes to help as many as he can, but it isn't just through gifting humanity with long and endless life. Rather, he wishes to ensure that none would have to take the burden of this contract that has taken the lives of many of his predecessors, but at the same time, he does not wish to let Changsheng die either. With her death, not only would he lose a friend, but also the benefit of her ability and knowledge that has helped out countless people in the past and even today. So in Baizu's mind, the simplest solution would be to become immortal. That way, Changsheng would not have to die, the price of the ability would not lead to his death, and the general populace can continue to benefit from Changsheng's knowledge and Baizu's expertise. 
His true intentions makes it rather sad to me that some in Liwe who speculate on his activities would assume he was doing it all for some selfish reason. I suppose in a sense he is being selfish, wanting to save everyone, but stubbornness in such a pursuit is an overall good thing. His resolve to endeavour on this solution, despite it being practically impossible on paper, is also why he was granted a vision. Changsheng mentions that even the gods themselves are said to not have true immortality and likely cover this knowledge should he actually succeed, though I believe his vision is more related to his resolve rather than discovering immortality itself. Now one thing that may be a bit of a mystery here is what exactly is Changsheng? While Baizu's story quest does answer what his motivations and past are, we don't really know much about the White Snake. My theory is that Changsheng was someone who was either an adepti or an individual who was very close to reaching enlightenment. Keep in mind that this is what the adepti are in essence, enlightened beings. I think that Changsheng fell short of becoming one and now has to rely on this contract to extend her life. When the first doctor found Changsheng, she was already in a weakened state. Given her abilities to transfer life force and diseases, my guess is that she exhausted herself trying to save someone and thus appeared in a weakened state. I also do not think that Changsheng is malevolent or evil. While you might think that she is some sort of parasite that survives on the life force of her hosts, by her own admission, with each generation, she has always tried to keep them alive but to no success, and is even doing this with Baizu whenever she rebalances his chi. She was even willing to accept her fate should Baizu not wish to continue with the contract. In addition, the requirements of the contract stipulate that one must be of pure heart to be accepted. This all point to the possibility that she might not be a malevolent being and unlikely to be evil or have some ulterior motives. It's unknown whether Baizu will ever find the answer or solution to this problem, but it seems that even the gods have acknowledged his efforts. Should he succeed, he will likely live on as an immortal doctor creating an endless amount of good for all in Tevat. If he fails, then many would likely be bereft of his and Changsheng's skills as medical practitioners. That does it for this video though and if you enjoyed it, do consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. As usual, have a nice day.